optimistic point of attention. So, we go to the relativistic point of attention. And as we know, S is L D T. So, this is some arrest energy into dt some time interval but here of course it's <coughs> eigen time interval so within these units what you do is your action is seen to be proportional to mc times the length of the word line so your particle as the particle moves in space time it sweeps out a, a, a word line which is f u tau okay so this is the the word line and another beauty of this is that here we will consider by construction only time like trajectories okay i'll come back to it a little bit later the, the meaning and importance of the time like trajectories in quantum field theory or in gravity theory particular so here and this proportionality factor comes out to be minus 1 mcvs and this is uh, uh, your cd tau this pass from s1 to s2 and this is from tau 1 to tau 2 so this is minus mc square d tau and this d tau i can write it at minus mc square and this is dt times square root of one minus d square by c square so this is the coordinate time in the coordinate frame and this is the eigen time in the proper frame or the laboratory frame okay so this is laboratory frame for me this Time that my watch tells me attached to my hand is my eigen time. Okay, very good. And <coughs> so with this, you can write it as L D T, and you can identify minus m c square into under root of one minus d square by c square. So this is my relativistic Lagrangian or the Lagrangian of my relativistic point particle. I can use the binomial theorem expand it and retain the first two terms and then i find that my this thing is plus order one by c to the power four plus order one by c to the power six terms and so on so i have these two terms you see this is what i have also in for my non-relativistic case and here I have this additional term, but this is a constant. <coughs> M is a constant, C is a constant, so it's a constant. So that what does it mean? If I derive the equations of motion using this L, this Lagrangian, then this term would not matter at all. This would not give me any additional term in the equations of motion. And so this means my choice, my definition of for this uh, Lagrangian is correct. Okay, that's that's the that's our conclusion because it reproduces our well known non relativistic physics. Okay, now, however, now even this I'm not satisfied because now it's a non covariant description. It's a non covariant description, and we would like to have a covariant description. Why? Because then all observers. Uh, should be able to compute the same action for a theory. So the action has to be a Lorentz scalar. Okay, that's the fundamental definition. And therefore, I would like to abandon the non covariant description of the theory and I would like to construct a covariant description of the theory. Okay, so we do that and therefore we need to introduce the relativistic notations our own notations and all right and so
uh, if you like, before I, I go to the relativistic, uh, no, sorry, covariant description, using this Lagrangian, if you just for check, if you calculate the P canonical using the last expression for the Lagrangian of a relativistic particle, this would be this divided by then x dot or then v and this you will find out to be equal to m by square root of 1 minus v square by c square times v okay that's it simple one line okay you will have this so this is my relativistic mass times the velocity so this is perfectly consistent with our conventional physics that we have known and one more thing that one should always try to check is the canonical Hamiltonian density this has to be minus l relativistic so you put the value of this as well as this p canonical from here and you simplify that will not take much time on that and here you will again find m square root of 1 minus v square by c square times c square so this is mr the relativistic mass times c square sometimes some books also write it as moving mass times uh, c square the same thing is here this is m v moving mass times velocity so this is what we have studied in our special theory of relativity and the, all these things they conform or they are found to be consistent with what we have known already earlier okay in our special theory of relativity so far everything is fine and now we could go to the covariant description of this okay so these two points i was going to miss and <coughs> Okay, so now we go to the so-called covariant description and we already have, uh, so let me, uh, uh, let me introduce the, the notations that we are going to work with. So covariant notations or relativistic notations. Okay for ourselves so we prefer to work with the matrix g mu nu equal to minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 or minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 okay fine so my x mu is s0 which is equal to c into t x1 x2 x3 and this is uh, going to be minus x0 equal to minus c t and x1 x2 oh, let me let me define that this is let me let me read it here for it for clarity purposes this is uh, x0 then this is x this is y this is z and then i have x mu covariant then i have to flip it down this would be x0 and therefore i would pick up a minus sign okay because of this choice okay you always have to use this x mu x mu or x mu so using these these are the uh, raising and lowering operators using them you correctly flip it down or take it up okay so in the contravariant or covariant notation so here in this notation now this will pick up a minus sign and this will not and this is equal to ct so this is equal to here we will take it tau, okay, the eigen time, and this is 
x mu. So this is x1, x2, x3. So this is uh, so this is x by z and minus theta. If I take L mu, del over del x mu, this would be del 0, del 1, del 2, del 3, and this would be 1 by C, uh, del over del tau, del x, del y, del z. Once we have made this correct identification, B mu would be del L over del x mu. Yes, downstairs here. This would be del 0, del 1, del 2, del 3. Now, I would like to bring it down. So, this would be minus del 0 and this would not change. With this choice of the metric tensor here, we will have no change of sign. We will have a change of sign here. If you use it the other way around, then you will not have a minus here, but you will have minus signs here. Then you bring it down. Okay. Good. So, and this is then so we now know these things. Correct.